12 year old is back in court this morning after an attempted carjacking in DC that left his friend dead. A U.S. Marshal shot a 13 year old to death in the alleged carjacking. Just last week, the 12 year old was arrested and charged and in three hours he will be back in court. And that's where we find Jess Arnold this morning. Jess, the U.S. Marshal initially uh, said that he thought the kids had weapons. Right, because prosecutors said last week in court that when these two boys approached, they had their hands in their waistbands like this. So the marshal thought that they had weapons, but then officers said they didn't find any weapon on the scene. And then when they later searched that 12 year old's room, they did all they also did not find a weapon. So the judge actually said last week that she didn't see enough evidence to make this an armed carjacking case. Now, the 12 year old was held at the Youth Services Center over the weekend until his appearance again in court this morning here at 945, which of course I'll be going into. So we'll have an update for you later on that. But the mom of that 12 year old was actually the one who turned him in last week. She saw that surveillance photo that we had been circulating and ended up calling police saying it was her son. The defense said she had tried for years to get him help, setting him up with counseling and a school to support his needs. It also came out in court that he would likely have been the driver if the two kids were able to steal the car two Saturdays ago right near this courthouse. The two boys allegedly tried to carjack a U.S. Marshal who was serving as security for the U.S. Attorney's Office as he was sitting in his car getting ready for work. Prosecutors said 13 year old Bernard Tony Jr. hopped in the passenger seat and this 12 year old opened the driver's side door saying get the expletive out. You know what this is. The 12 year old noticed the U.S. Marshal's uniform, but before he could warn Tony, the marshal had shot the teen in the chest, killing him, and then the 12 year old took off. And in response to this rise in carjackings, Mayor Bowser, in conjunction with D.C. police, launched a new initiative last week to give car owners free tracking tags. So at least if their car is stolen, they can hopefully recover it at some point in the future. Allison. Jess, we're talking about 12 and 13 year old kids here. And as shocking as these types of stories are, unfortunately, it's not uncommon these days. The number of young people in our area committing crimes like this going the wrong way, going up. Yeah, I took a look at that carjacking arrest data in particular, and it said that arrests of juveniles in carjacking cases is up 19% from the same time last year. Now, DC police also released releases biannual uh, sets of data in terms of their juvenile arrests overall. So in that January to June set of data from this year, it says that they've made close to a thousand arrests of juveniles, which is up about 200 arrests from that same period last year. So definitely an increasing trend, which is why the mayor and DC police say they're trying to pour a lot of resources into turning this tide.